What you're looking at here is the HTC U11 and the iPhone 8 Plus, two of the best smartphones of 2017 if you're looking for the device with the best camera. The U11 and the 8 Plus both have 12 megapixel sensors on the back, paired with respective f1.7 and f1.8 aperture lenses and optical image stabilization. On the front, the iPhone has an 8 megapixel sensor while the U11 has a 16 megapixel sensor. But rather than continuing on about the specs, let's take a look at the pictures that these two devices can actually capture. As you might expect, the shots from both of these phones are pretty incredible. Both phones are more than capable of handling tricky lighting conditions like taking shots directly against the early morning sun without blowing out any of the highlights. As I noted in my Galaxy Note 8 vs iPhone 8 Plus photo shootout, the white balance from the iPhone is on the warmer side. It's not overbearing by any means and is only really noticeable in side-by-side -side comparisons like this. The U11 on the other hand does tend to gravitate towards the cooler tones most of the time. Either way, you can always fix the white balance if you're editing your pictures, or you can tweak the settings manually on both devices. Another difference that I found between these two is that the iPhone's images appear to be sharper. But if you zoom in, you'll notice that it's not because it's using a better lens, but rather because it's adding artificial sharpening when the phone is processing the image. Again, this can be toned down in the settings if you want a more natural look, but it is disappointing to see that Apple is picking up on some of Samsung's bad habits when it comes to image processing. When it comes to dynamic range, I can't really find fault with either phone. The U11 has a slight edge over the iPhone, but even then, the 8 Plus comes out ahead in a few different instances where the U11 wasn't able to keep its highlights in check. If you're looking for the most responsive camera, the U11 bests the iPhone 8 Plus when it comes to shutter lag. These pictures of passing cars were taken simultaneously on both phones, but you can clearly see that the U11's shutter managed to capture every single shot before the iPhone 8 Plus did. There's only about a tenth of a second delay between the two shutter speeds, but that could result in a missed shot if you're taking pictures of your kids or of pets. When it comes to low light photography, it's a bit of a toss up. The iPhone 8 Plus manages to capture more detail, but the U11's images are more vivid. Both phones also take different approaches when it comes to processing low light shots. The iPhone 8 Plus applies quite a bit of noise reduction, while the U11 gives you the image pretty much exactly how it was captured. So it's up to you to decide which approach you'd rather have. If you're into taking selfies, you'll be happy with either of these devices. The iPhone's front-facing camera lens isn't as wide as the U11's, so you won't be able to squeeze in as many friends or as much of the background into your shots. But the quality of the shots between these two is pretty comparable. The only real advantage that I see goes to the iPhone, since it seems to cope better when lighting conditions aren't perfect. If I had to choose between these two devices based on their camera performance alone, my vote would go to the HTC U11. But it's honestly a really close call since the iPhone 8 Plus performs incredibly well. But since photography is subjective, that doesn't mean that the U11 will necessarily be the right device for you. Based on what you've seen in this video, which device do you think performs better? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends or family who may be looking for a new device. If you're not subscribed already, hit the button below. I have more comparison videos between the iPhone 8 Plus and this year's top tier Android devices in the works. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.